So in this video, I'm showing you an acrylic design. So I've applied uh, my tips and a thin clear base to all the nails. So on this nail, I'm creating a smile line using CJP birthday suit. And I'm using my big boy brush. So you want to get that bead on and turn your brush around um, into the reverse method and just pull each side down and then make sure you're blending uh, the back of that bead in with your natural nail. And then come in and create that wall all the way around that bead so you've got something um, to put your colour up to. You want to make sure that's nice and crisp and sharp. And once you're happy with that, you can then come in and apply your cuticle bead. So get it on and get your brush right behind that bead to make sure it's nice and flush. And then blend the top of that bead in with the first bead that you applied. So you're keeping the majority of the bead in that cuticle area um, to build your apex because I won't be capping this um, nail. Well, not the nail bed area anyway. And you can add a bit more if you need to build any more apex. So this nail is an ombre nail, so I'm applying CJP Coconut Milk. Get that on in the tip area, turn your brush around and fade it down while it's still wet. So you get that nice flawless fade, you don't want a harsh line where your white ends and your pink starts. Make sure that's nice and smooth. Remove any excess off the end if you need to, just by cutting it off using the tip of your brush. So then I apply a small bead of birthday suit in the middle, just where that white ends, and just blend that into the white, making sure it's also blended into your natural nail. And then apply that cuticle bead. So I'm getting it flush in your cuticle area, out to one side and fade up. And then out to your other side and fade that up into, into your last application. And then just run your brush over it, making sure it's nice and smooth and neat. And then I'm coming in with some gold leaf and just applying that um, diagonally across the nail from the tip to the cuticle area. So this nail is a full birthday suit nail, so I'm applying a large bead in the cuticle area. As always, getting it flush all the way around that cuticle area and then walking that bead down the nail using the belly of my brush. And if you need to add any more in your apex area, then you always can. This nail is a marble nail, so I'm applying coconut milk, birthday suit and crystal glass. Getting my brush to a nice sharp point and then just swirling those colours together using that tip of my brush. And don't swirl them too much because you don't want to end up with a mush. You want to see all those individual colours marbling together. And just work your way down to the cuticle area.
And then apply a bit of gold glitter and this one is from Banggood Nail Supplies. And as always, I'll leave all links to all my products that I've used in the description box. Then come in with my 150 grit file, holding it nice and flat against that wall of my smile line. And just go all the way around, making it nice and crisp. And then apply a bit of clear into that tip area and then apply some of the gold leaf all the way around that smile line. This nail is the same as the little finger that I did.
And then onto my usual filing technique. So then remove all the dust and wipe over with acetone and then apply my CJP Tech Free Top Gloss and curing in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. Then on this nail, I apply a small bead of crystal glass using my CJP number two brush. And then I'm applying some of these amazing 3D flowers that I bought from um, Glam Susie off her um, Etsy shop. They are absolutely stunning. I love them. I'm not the greatest at 3D, so I thought I'd buy these. And they are so, they're all handmade. Um, to order you can pick whichever flowers you want and they are stunning absolutely love them and i just adhere them with um some clear acrylic and then just go round them underneath any little raised areas with acrylic to make sure they stay on and my clients that have used these on they've come back three four weeks later and they're all all the flowers are still on um, as perfect as the day that i applied them
and here's your finished look thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it